Live from Orlando, Florida, extracting the signal from the noise, it's theCUBE, covering Enterprise Connect 2016. Brought to you by Oracle ZDLRA, Vonage, and Cafe X. Now, your hosts, John Furrier and Peter Zontazanio. Hello everyone, welcome to a special presentation of theCUBE on the ground here in Orlando, Florida for Enterprise Connect. This is my report, I'm John Furrier uh, with SiliconANGLE Media and theCUBE, also co-host of theCUBE. And this is our foray into the unified communications marketplace. I'll see theCUBE in the spirit of theCUBE. We'll do whatever it takes to get an interview, find the data, extract the signal from the noise. Not the full CUBE, it's more stand up. We had a little notice, we came down on a moment's notice to get all the action. And again, this important area of unified communications is really changing in real time, and we believe, based upon our data, and the Wikibon team, the CrowdChat data, and our community is telling us that this unified communication space is about to explode. And, and it's transforming from an old, I call the relic phone days, where voice over IP was the disruptive technology, voice. Now, beyond voice, you have video, you have group chat, and a variety of software packages that are a consumer experiences coming into the enterprise. So this is the confluence of enterprise software meeting the cloud, meeting the traditional unified communication space. This is going to explode. Watch the cube, watch this area. It is going to be a battleground between the old and the new, and we saw examples of that. We had great interviews here for, uh, for, two, uh, for two days. Cafe X, uh, Vonage, Great examples, also sponsors. Also want to give a shout out to Oracle, ZDLRA, Zero Data Loss Appliance, for sponsoring us to get down here on a short notice. Really appreciate that. ZDLRA, Zero Data Loss Recovery Appliance. Go buy Oracle, go to Cafe X, check out their stuff and go to Vonage, thanks to those guys. But really, here's the main story here. You have two schools of thought. You have old school and new school. The old school is the voice business. PBX is voice over IP. These are technologies that we come to learn by getting around the big telcos and getting better, cheaper phone service using internet protocol technology or IP. Voice over IP now is standard and baked into everything and it goes beyond that now. We're seeing the consumer experience from Snapchat to Instagram to Facebook to CrowdChat among other consumer technologies that it's integrating into a rich user experience. Collaboration in, and engagement at the center of all this with the big data, with the cloud. This space is going to be moving fast. We had on theCUBE here, again, the CEO from Cafe X. We had Vonage CEO, Alan Masaryk. Cisco's VP in SGM, uh, Rowan Tropolo, who's basically running Cisco's group, which is IOT and Unified Communications. And again, Cisco, they got telepresence. That's been around for a while. Kind of older technology, more for the boardroom. They're trying to bring that down with UCS and a variety of other tools to make it very simple and provide the heavy lifting, as they say. We heard from Mitel, an old school vendor. We had Wes on. We had Google. Google's here. Google at work for the enterprise. Adam Swindler came on and really talking about Google's view. Okay, AT&T, we had the AT&T folks on. They have the bandwidth, they have the connectivity. And we had Craig Walker from Dialpad, formerly of Grand Central, they sold to Yahoo. He's in the back, scratching his itch with Dialpad. That's going to change the game on unified voice and communications. And the vertical focus, we had vertical communications on Peter Bailey. We've had Microsoft Skype for Business lead chief, Zig Serafin on and Skype is under siege, they're transforming. Skype, a free consumer technology using P2P technologies, now within Microsoft with Azure Cloud. Zig told me off camera that basically they are building a solid business focused Skype with service level agreements or SLAs that are enterprise grade as well as continuing the offer of the Skype Skype for free, which we all know and love. And he did talk about the Slack comment. I said, what's going on with Slack? He said, hey, you know what? We're going to be better, we're going to be good. And that's essentially what, was, what his vibe was. That's not a direct quote, that's kind of my read. Um, we had Juristlink, one of my favorite interviews, uh, a Cafe X customer, and Cafe X uh, won best of show with their platform, standing up instant communications, instant collaborations, and Juristlink, Slate Tribuco, the founder, a defense attorney who quit his job, stood up some solutions on Cafe X, and he provides a virtual presence into jail cells so he doesn't have to go visit. That's taken off and, and, a, and a hot product, and also for the courtrooms. Really great interview, one of my favorites. The big news here, though, is the cloud. Cisco announced a development fund for developers, and certainly their M&A focus, they announced an acquisition as well. Look for Cisco to make some moves. Obviously, the business focus is the key, enterprise grade. Again, this is the big story. What will cloud do from a delivery standpoint and from a consumption standpoint? That is what's going to be the impact. This industry of unified communications, or as Jim Lundy from Aragon Research talks about, UCC, not unified communications by itself, unified communications and collaboration. 
collaboration is coming into this area and it's going to be a really interesting dynamic to see that collision course. Of course, had great conversations with the BC Strategies Group. They renamed their company from UC Strategies to BC Strategies. Jim Burton, the lead there, always has the favorite uh, wine party, wine tasting party. We met a ton of CEOs. I met, I saw Ken Conopon, the CEO of Plantronics. We saw a lot of friends in the industry. This area is going to be about IoT. It's going to be about wearables. It's going to be about retail. All the consumer experiences in unified communications is now moving mainstream. It's going to be a fun battle to watch and we're going to watch the old incumbents transform to the new way and watch the new emerging leaders like Cafe X and looking at brands like Vonage, who's got great brand value coming in and establish themselves with almost a billion dollars in revenue. And of course, the big whales, Oracle, IBM. Not a lot of IBM here. We'll get to hear what IBM's going to do with Inhi Chusa, the new GM of collaboration. She's going to be leading that group within IBM. So this is going to be a battleground for the future of the enterprise, the future of work. And we're super excited to be here. And again, we're on the ground with the stand-ups, not the full cube. And the spirit of the cube, we decided on Friday to come down here. We'll do whatever it takes to get an interview. We'll do whatever it takes to get that signal. This is a hot area to watch and it's super exciting. So um, watch the cube videos on youtube.com slash siliconangle. And of course, go to siliconangle.com. And a shout out to all the social media folks we met last night on Twitter. Too many to name. Thanks for all your tweets and retweets. We really appreciate it. And we're super excited to continue the coverage of extracting the signal from noise. I'm John Furrier here in Orlando for exclusive coverage of the Cube on the ground at Enterprise Connect 2016. The hashtag is hashtag EC16 and check it out. Thanks for watching.